Hi guys, welcome back to Edgewood channel. So today in this video, we will be dealing with the classification of penicillins. Penicillins are the antibiotic or the antimicrobial agent that is used to kill or stop the growth of bacteria and prevent infections. So penicillin is a group of antibiotics derived originally from the common molds of penicillium, that is penicillium molds. And monobactams are carbapenems, are the later additives. So we'll be classifying penicillins based on this book. This is, this is the Veterinary Pharmacology and Therapeutics by Harpal Singh Sun. So moving to the classification, penicillins are broadly divided into the following groups depending upon their spectrum of antibacterial activity and beta lactamase sensitivity. That is, beta lactamase is an enzyme produced by the bacteria which can cleave the penicillin so the penicillin will not have any action on those bacteria so the beta lactamases the enzymes produced by the bacteria are also called as penicillinase because they break penicillin so the first classification is narrow spectrum penicillins that is they will be having a very narrow spectrum of activity in the group we have mainly the two classification that is narrow spectrum beta lactamase sensitive penicillin that is they will be sensitive to the beta lactamase produced by the bacteria okay so beta lactamase can cleave them and they will have no action in that group we have two categories that is acid susceptible that is whenever acid presence is there they will be broken that is penicillin g and penamicillin and acid resistant types are penicillin B and phenethicillin. Now moving to the second group in case of narrow spectrum, that is narrow spectrum penicillins, which is having anti beta lactamase properties. That is, they will be resisting the activities of beta lactamase. In that group, we are having isoxazos. Sorry, isoxazolyl penicillins. Example is cloxacillin, octacillin, dicloxacillin, flucloxacillin, and non isoxazolyl penicillin, that is methicillin, meticillin, nafcillin, and timocillin. Now the narrow spectrum penicillins are completed, and we are moving to the broad spectrum penicillins. They are actually classified into three groups that is amino penicillins, which is having ampicillin, amoxicillin, and epicillin, which is amoxicillin and ampicillin is very famous now the ampicillin precursors that is hetacillin bacampicillin metampicillin pivampicillin and telampicillin now the other antibiotics are mesilinam pivmesilinam and sulbenicillin now the extended spectrum penicillins with anti pseudomonal penicillins that is anti pseudomonal activities that is carboxy penicillins that is carbenicillin Carindacillin, Ticarcillin. Now, uridopenicillins are mesloacillin and azlozillins. Now, the piperazine penicillins, they are actually piperazine, which is very effective against anti pseudomonal penicillins. That is, anti pseudomonal penicillin is the best example is piperazine because piperazine has got a better action towards the pseudomonas infection. Now, the potentiated penicillins, that is amoxclav, which is known as amoxicillin clavulinic acid because if we are giving clavulanic acid that is actually a beta lactamase inhibitor so clavulanic acid will be inhibiting the beta lactamase enzyme of what the bacteria so there is suicide inhibition clavulanic acid itself acts as the compound for beta lactamase activity and clavulanic acid gets broken down and amoxicillin is escaped so what happens amoxicillin can easily do its action so thank you guys.